Hello folks, I want to introduce you to the biggest secret to trolling industry today, the Sidewinder planer board. Planer boards have been around for years, but no board is as versatile and user friendly as the Sidewinder. The design of the Sidewinder is what makes it so unique. For starters, it has no clumsy release mechanism. Instead, it features a line release built into the top of the board. Second, it has a dual fin design, which allows you to fish it from both sides of the boat or riverbank, unlike other boards that require a port or starboard model. And third, the planer board never has to be removed from your line. Rigging the board is simple. What you're gonna need, obviously a sidewinder, a small bead, and a small barrel swivel. Let me show you how to put this together, guys. It's simple. Now what we're gonna do is take our line, coming from our rod, run it through the board, because it's a through-hole design. That's what makes it so unique. We're gonna go through the big water bill, down through the board, just like you would a slip bobber. We're gonna feed it through till it comes out the back, right there. Now what we're gonna do is grab our small bead, come into here, put the bead on, grab our swivel, like so, tie our swivel on, like so. And now what you'll do is take this guy here, cut it off. Now the board is rigged. Now all you have to do is on the back end of your swivel right here, Put six to eight feet a liter, depending on water clarity. If it's muddy, you can go shorter. If it's clear, you can go further back. But six to eight feet, attach your lure. So this is the leader to lure section back here. That's whatever you want to run. Now, let me show you what makes this board so unique. The reason we put that bead and swivel on there, folks, is so that when this board releases, it can't come down because it stays on the line. It can't come down and knock the hooks out of the fish. When this guy is released, it floats on the water and the fish pulls line freely. So you're fighting the fish, not the board. That's our slogan. And you'll see why when you hook one up with this board. Now, let me show you how to rig this thing. This is what makes it so awesome, guys. We've got our big water bill here. If we wanna go out to the right side of our boat, all we do is turn it like so. So now the bill is up. Visualize waves coming in, that forces the board up. It's turned like so, just like that. The, the bill is always perpendicular to the, to the board fin. See that? Just like that. This is to go out the right side. Now what we do is we let the line out the back. On a cloudy day, we go back shorter. On a bright sunny day, we go back further. So 50 feet or 100 feet, whatever you want to run back there. Now what we do is we grab our line coming from our rod, come underneath the board right here like this, and we hook it in to this rubber puck, just like so. Now what happens, and the line's coming underneath, this is coming from our rod, we're letting it out, and what it does is the line coming back to the rod it rolls the board up, causes that fin to dig in and pull it out to the side. Now if your buddy's fishing off the other side of the boat, watch how fast this is. If he's fishing off the other side of the boat to the left, all we're going to do is take our bill, we're going to roll it up like that, feed it out however far back we want to go, come underneath like so, come into the release puck, push it in. Now, the line's coming back to the rod this direction, which is gonna roll the board up, cause that fin to hook, and pull it out to the side. Think about that, guys. You don't have to have a port or starboard model. This one board can do it both. The board gets out, gets in the waves. The big water bill does a couple of things. One, it keeps the board from diving in, keeps it jumping up. The other thing it does is the board will actually jump, like so, which creates a lot of action back to your plug. That surging action is what we all want out of our planer boards. The other thing that happens, a lot of times planer boards will hook and dive. If this board happens to hit a big wave, and it's gonna take a pretty big wave, and it dives, you leave it alone. Because what happens, it hits, dives down, that bill forces it back up to the top. So you're not wasting time pulling boards in or re-rigging. If a board rolls, you've all had it happen, you turn too sharp, you hit a wave, the board jumps, and it comes across the back of your boat, guess what? When this board hits and rolls, the bill forces it down, spins it right back around, and it comes up in place. So now you're not fighting the board in terms of having to re-rig because it dove or spun. When you get a fish on, guys, they hit out the back, pops like this, it's released, now it's floating freely on your line, the fish is pulling, you're not wasting time with line wrapped up in a release, you're not wasting time with unhooking a board, you get to enjoy the fight of the fish without the hassle. Now, let's head down to the river and show you how this thing works in the real world. You want to get your salmon or steelhead plug into an impossible place? Look at this, trees all around. There's no way we're going to cast. Watch this little sidewinder and go to work. Come out the back. We're going to pull out about 15 feet of line. 
right down here at our feet. 15 feet with this plug is gonna dive me down out there where I need to be. There's 15 feet. Come in here, guys, grab underneath, pop it in our release, make sure that our nose piece is up, get it hooked in the current, make sure our plug is clear and free. You don't gotta have a $50,000 jet boat, guys, watch this. In here in these thick trees, feeding it out. Get it to the distance that you want. All right, right about there, we'll click our release. We'll let that board do the work. Folks, imagine the possibilities next time you go out salmon or steelhead or even fishing from trout off the bank. You'll be able to get that bait out there in places you never could before. If you had a two pole permit, you could put this in a rod holder, throw out and side drift right in front of it, guys. Let this one just sit there, just like back trolling out of a boat. Planter board, guys, it's awesome salmon trout steelhead tool for the rivers and also for the lakes. Folks, you've just seen how great this little sidewinder works for a river. Now let's take it to the lake and run it out of the boat. All right, folks, you ready to see this little planter board get after it out here on the lake? Let's do it. We got this big deep diving plug on there, guys. That's gonna run us down probably 20 feet. It's no problem for the planter board. Watch this. Get the plug in the water. I'm gonna grab the board in my hand just like this. And I've got my counter reel and I've got a little bit of chop on the water today. So I'm only gonna go back about 75 feet. All right, folks, we're at 75 feet. Remember, our bill is turned upright. Board's cocked to the side because we want to go out to our left side. I'm going to come in like this, hook it into the release, set it out in the water. We're 75 feet back. Now what we're going to do, turn the power up a little bit here. We're going to run it out to the side with this chop that we've got here. I'm probably going to go about 75 feet out. So we got 75 back, 75 out. Something to keep in mind, guys, on the planter boards. If you got a lot of chop, the light's being broken down, you can go shorter out the back, shorter out the side. If you got flat conditions, you wanna go further out the back, further out the side. Just little basics about planter boards. All right, folks, we're 75 feet out. Big old deep diving plug on there, 75 feet back, running along at 1.8 miles an hour. Little boards handling that thing with no problem at all. Imagine this, guys, you can get out, you could run seven or eight rods, 10 rods out if you wanna have a porcupine out the back using these planer boards and they're so simple. Absolutely incredible how easy these things work and what they'll achieve. Don't need all the hassle of them other boards, guys. One little board like that will do the job for you. Whether you fish for salmon, steelhead, trout, walleye, bass, or any other game fish, the Sidewinder will get the job done for you. I encourage you to pick one up from your local retailer and put the Sidewinder to work for you. You'll be glad you did.